Baby, please don't go. Baby, please don't go. Baby, please don't go back to New Orleans. Do I love you so? Well, baby, please don't go. I changed the world by changing myself. And by being myself, I've inspired others to be themselves. And that makes us happy. <laughs> you see? That's what that is. I changed the world by changing myself. And by being myself, I inspired others to be themselves. And that makes us happy. I think it's kind of like subtle, you know? Hell yeah. Yeah, I like that shit, man. I got this glass piece so rocking up in there because so I feel it almost looks like a bubble. Yeah, yeah that's you know, and cool. so it's like, I like when I have like, yeah, yeah. what I do and have to hide it at school and shit. People don't really this know. This video, it. actually. Oh. But I don't want to tell anybody because um, I like the naturalness of things. Yeah. 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 That's pretty cool. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, here's the thing. To be the change means to take responsibility for who you are. For the world around you as if it's ours to protect, to influence. Like, this is my bike. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a bike right here. It's mine. Not just let somebody come up and take it, right? No, not if I own it, not if I treat it like it's mine, but that's, you know, that's the attitude that you have with everything around you, a relationship. And if you watch your brother or, you know, another person, a human being, who I refer to as your brother, get hurt, then you're not really treating them like a brother. To let things happen to other people and not step in to do anything is not family-like. It's not neighborly-like. It's very actually rude and disrespectful. It's blatantly saying that I don't care about you, you know? And so the whole key, man, is to be happy. You know, you gotta be happy to teach happy. You gotta be happy to teach happy. So if you live in a life that you don't really believe in and you're, and you're miserable, you really don't have anything to say to anybody. But what you're teaching with your actions is that, hey, it's, you know, life is like, you do things you grudge at and you hate and that's what you do and that's the best you've got. And don't you try to make yourself happy because you're just gonna be disappointed. You better stay down here in the dumps with me. I live the life that I believe in. That's what I'm doing. In every aspect of my life, I find out what I believe in and I do that. I don't do what's most comfortable necessarily. I try, I don't do what's the safest necessarily. Of course, I like being safe, but there's a whole new safety when you trust and you know the universe, when you have trust and faith in everything that is in the moment, that's a whole nother topic. Let's get back to that soon. Being a good person makes me happy. There, I said it. Being a good person makes me happy, I confess. What else do you want? Happiness? Happiness. No, thank you. I would rather have um, some misery. I'd like to have some resentment, some anger, and some... Oh my God, you motherfucker. You stealing food? 
Are you still the money to get food? Oh, drugs. But then, because only rich people deserve to get stoned to drink and right. about taking our power back all becoming an individual again this is about not listening to what others tell you is right and wrong but finding out for yourself through finding out your own values finding out what you believe in what you don't believe in and sticking true to that that's what being true to yourself means your soul that's what being true to yourself is this is the number one jedi secret Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, and everything else you want will come to you. What that means is that through meditation, through getting connected to your source, but through just getting connected in the moment, just each moment that you need to make a decision, you get connected to the tuition, to your gut feeling about it. That's a navigational system to God, really, to home, to source. They teach us in our culture to be logic-based to follow what we are supposed to do in our minds and concepts, but not listen to our body, not listen to our natural rhythms or what we feel in the moment, being guided through divinity. That is what brings us to the highest solutions. That's what brings us to the clearest, calmest, most rational decisions in our lives. That's a solution to the world. It's for us to start following our hearts.